here with him. Oh my God, there's seriously one up there. We're having a bit of an adventure in the rain. We are. We're at the Bothwell Bush Fest. Happens yearly. Yeah. So Bothwell's roughly in about, mm, about an hour out of Hobart. I'd say it's halfway. Halfway into the middle of Tasmania. In the yeah. Midlands. But we've had beautiful weather all week and then today and tomorrow for the Bush Fest, it's rain. Yeah. Rain and more rain. It is. And we felt really bad because this is the, the first year that it's actually been on since all that COVID stuff. And we were feeling really bad for the um, the locals in the area and everyone that's put in so much work. So you know what? We decided that we'd still come. Yep. So we've got our gum boots on. Well, I do. Mr B left his behind. We've got our brellies and we're going to go exploring and see what they've got. It was just a gold coin donation and it's on for the two days, Saturday and Sunday. It looks yep. like they've got some live entertainment, a few stalls, lots of food. Yep, lots of food and lots of hunting camo stuff. Yeah. I'm keen. And those little things that you put on the end of your line, flies, for fly fishing. I'm not used to that. But... And guns. Just little kids before oh. a gun. Oh, bang, bang. No, wooden one. Okay. So let's go and explore the bush fest. Do you just do it like at the shows and the festivals or? Yeah, so I do about um, 60 shows a year across wow. Australia. So I just That's great. done shows in Victoria, I was in Queensland, mm -hmm. before that I was in WA. Oh, so you come where we're from then? Hey, he comes from Queensland, guys. Well, he comes to Queensland. How yeah, cool is that? Yeah, I'm based um, just south of Ridley, actually. Gold, really? Gold Coast, Winterland sort of way, yeah. No way, that's where we're from, Gold yeah, Coast. Yeah, right. Yeah, okay. Small world, small world. And guess what? We found him down here at the bloody Brothwell Bush Fest. Both, Bothwell. Yeah, Bothwell, Bothwell, Bothwell. 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 that's it. You know what I'm banging on about, guys. You know I always get the names wrong. But any any hoosies, that was so cool. Make yeah, we sure normally do um, shows with whips on fire, so I'm flying back to Sydney and then we do a show um, with, the, with the fire whips. Wow, that sounds so cool. Yeah. Looks like he's carving a, a big bird. Not literally Sesame Street big bird, but a big bird. And we're going to check it out. Ta-da! I'm, here. I'm actually, I'm actually here with him, and I'm going to ask him some questions because I'm sure you guys were wondering as well. How do the sculptures get where they are now living? Like, is it transported there? No, uh, some are. Uh, some of them are carved with stumps that like become the tree become dangerous, mm -hmm. so the councils had to remove them. Yep. For safety reasons. Okay. Some places uh, like the War Memorial yes. trees. Yep. So they've been put into what they did before they went to the war. If we didn't know what they did, they become a soldier. Mm -hmm. Different places uh, throughout Tasmania. Wow. And like. So, yeah, that's that's the right. We don't go and cut a tree down for the sake of it. It's got to have a purpose. That's 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 good to hear. Yeah. That's good to hear. But yeah. when you assemble it, like example, maybe um, let's do let's do Campbelltown. When you like put that all together. Like, how long did that take? That took three months. Wow. Yeah, so it's only five days, like, in a week of work. Yeah. Um, it's a history of uh, the Tamil Town. Mm -hmm. So we had uh, Dr. Valentine, Valentine Park. Yeah. Um, Harold Gatti. He was, uh, like, a pilot. A flew, mm -hmm. Well, he was a sailor first, so he navigated uh, the Northern Hemisphere, so he knew the stars. That's and then incredible. he's actually more famous in America. Mm -hmm. He developed aviation equipment for the U.S. Army. It was called the Army, not the Air Force at the time. So he's very famous mm -hmm. in there. So he originated from Camelltown. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Question is, you've been doing this for over 40 years and you just told me that you're old, but I, I don't think you are. Yeah. Are you going to pass this trade and this amazing skill on to somebody in the family or is somebody else in Tassie going to be doing this? Um, 
my daughter's very keen uh, artist. She does a lot of uh, tattoo drawings wow, that's uh, cool. for people. Yeah. Uh, everyone, it's a dirty job at times. Yeah. The dust. I can, I can see you've got a bit in your mo there. Yeah, yeah, yeah for later yeah. on. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get hungry. Oh, oh my goodness, <laughs> yeah, that's so, crazy. Yeah. Wow, well, how cool is that? So I'm I'm sticking around until these chainsaws start going. And this is looking really cool behind me. Where's this one going to go? This one will be Central Highlands. Well, we're just absolutely blown away by your workmanship and hard work Ooh. and passion that goes into it. Yeah. So, yeah, thank you so much. And, yeah, I'm, I'm keen to watch and enjoy the show. Yeah. What great, what, hang on, this is great Tassie weather, right? Yeah, if you don't like, wait five minutes. <laughs> exactly. Oh, thank you so much, Eddie. Thank you. We'll, yeah. we'll wait for the chainsaws to start. <laughs> feeling too good about this stall. Oh, is there any there? Yeah. How many? One. Six. Just one? Four, How many? Six. Don't tell me fibs either. One. There's two, six. six. Oh, I don't know if I can do this. Uh, oh. oh my God. Oh, it's moving. It's moving. Oh, oh dear, I feel sick. Oh, there's more over the other side. Ah, Jesus! Oh. oh my God, there's seriously one up there. I don't think I got it on the camera, if you don't believe me. Where is it again? I'm just gonna step back. Where is it? That was what was on top of my head. <laughs> oh my goodness, I can't believe you just did that to me. <laughs> Oh, that was hectic. Mr. B, did you know that one was up there? No. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was crazy. I mean, you need to overcome your fears, just put it on your arm. Oh no, I can't. I couldn't do that. Oh, that was hectic. That was hectic. So the ones in the green pen thing, they were the venomous ones. Do you know what sort they were? Uh, there's a couple of um, oh. tigers. Yeah. And two brown snakes. Oh. I don't know if the other ones were. Oh my goodness. Eastern brown and tiger snake. Oh no, nah, that was hectic. Spin a yarn with them, see what's happening. I was checking out this here and I was thinking like, how cool is this? But I've actually just learned that it's what's Tassie tartan. So Jennifer's gonna tell me about what goes into making the actual tartan and perhaps the story about the Tasmanian tartan. Right, 12 months ago, I learned that there was a Tasmanian tartan. Mm -hmm. And Isabel, who lived at Bothwell, designed the tartan and submitted and had it registered mm -hmm. to the Scottish Tartan Register mm -hmm. in incredible. 1998. Mm -hmm. And how long would it have taken you to do something like this amount so far? So far, it would take about 30 hours. Wow, that's, that's a lot the warping up and weaving this far. Guys, this is incredible. So I might um, get the links and the descriptions and stuff like that and I'll put it in the video below if you are keen to check out this and the hardware that the guys do. So fantastic, thanks for chatting to us. It's great.
these guys. Now you know that we don't have a dog, but I think that this story is pretty cool. This is the Raptor Ridge and take it away, my friend. Um, so this is our product, Raptor Ridge Dog Treats. Um, um, my website's down here. The flavours in it are venison, which is deer, and wallaby uh, that we kill on our farm. And I make, I make these, um, these treats for dogs. There's 80 grams, there's 150 grams, and 250 grams. And they're really healthy. There's no like pres preservatives or anything in it. It's just straight dehydrated meat. How good is that, right? Yeah, you, you are so passionate about your product, dude. Like, how cool is that? And you did give me a little rundown about all the little things that Dad makes, like there's jewelry, stuff like that. Check these guys out. High five. Rain, hail or shine? We did it. I don't think we got hail. No. We didn't get shine, but it stopped raining for about five no. minutes. We did run into some uh, interesting uh, people. We did. Yeah. Very interesting. What did we do? Well, not what I did, what Mrs. B did. Anyhow, that's <laughs> another story. So, we're gonna finish our episode here. Time, time to hit the uh, tracks and make a move. Yeah, we've had fun, gotta say. This little town needs visitors. Bothwell Bushfest. Yeah. 2024, put it in your calendar. Mm. There is a free um, area that you can put your motorhome your caravan or whatever you want. That's pretty cool. And that's putting money back into the area as well. So yeah, yeah. it's only a, a, a um, gold coin donation um, to get in. Yep. Oh. And basically you're just supporting a lot of local businesses, especially this is the first one post COVID. Yeah. And it was a, a, a little bit um, smaller. smaller than yeah. previously. And look at the weather too, but. But the thing is, as it gets each year post COVID, I'm sure more and more stores are going to turn up. Yeah. Um, and, and like I said, it's supporting local businesses here, so. Yeah, so we, we've had a good day. We've probably eaten too much again, but anyway, that's all good. So until another episode yeah, next is. week, wherever we're gonna be, what do you say? Have fun, go on adventures, be safe. See you next week, guys. Mm -hmm.